So you want to make sure concepts in Photoshop, the ones that look like this and this. I'm going to show you how to in this video. So this is the mock-up that I currently use for all of my dunk concepts. And as you can see in this layer group, I have each part of the shoe separated into their own layers. And with this, we have full control of the customization for each part of the shoe. And when we double click, for example, the swoosh layer, we can see it here. And we have full customization of color and material. There will be a link for this particular project file in the description below. But now I'm going to show you how to make this for yourself. So as an example, I'm going to be using these Ricoin shoes as they have a really simple silhouette. So the first thing that we're going to do is get our pen tool and outline the entire shoe. Make sure you take your time with this step and make it as clean as you can. Once you've done this, we're going to right click and do make selection and press OK. And now with the shoe selected, we come down here and add a layer mask. So now we need to start separating each part of the shoe into their own layer. So as it's the big largest part, I'm going to start with the sole. And again, we pen tool around the outline. And just as before, once we've done, we right click, make selection, and hit OK. But this time we're going to use Control and J. That's Command J for any Mac users. And this will put the sole into its own layer. Now we right click this layer and do Convert to Smart Object. And if you double click this smart object, it will open the sole. I'm not going to add like I always name my layers, but with something like this it is kind of useful too. So we're going to name each part. So when we are making different colorways, we can come back to the mockup and um, navigate it easily. So let's say for example I wanted to change the color of the sole. I would open the smart object, then right click the layer, and go to blending options. And here we see color overlay, and I pick my color. And I'm thinking... This sort of red, and then we'll have a look at the blending options and see which one works the best. If there's any stitching, you want it to be visible, so it will take a bit of trial and error selecting your blend mode, just finding the one that looks most realistic. And your blend mode's never really going to stay the same between working through shoes and different colors and materials. Once you've got this, you hit OK, then press Ctrl S or Command S if you're on Mac to save the layer, and then opening the original, we can see that the color of the sole has changed. Well, it doesn't look very good, it just shows for an example. And here's it in pink, so. And you're basically going to repeat that process for each and every part of the shoe, which can be tedious, but you only really need to do it once, and then you can customize that shoe forever. Not all the shoes you'll have to, but you'll often have to do separate layers for each lace, which is something to keep in mind uh, when you're selecting your shoe. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And yeah. Thank you for watching.